altcoin position. Um, and I'm not sure what price that was or where is it in relation to, to where the price is today. Charlie, but do you see this sort of this reprieve in price, <laughs> the decline as a buying opportunity? Uh, for me, I sold because of conflict of interest, so I'm not going to buy back my big uh, Litecoins anytime soon or at all. Um, but I think it's it's always good to buy on the. And he's so smart. He basically sold Litecoin at 400 or 300 dollars, and right now Litecoin is under 100 bucks. And uh, he says he's not going to buy the dip, but I bet you anything he's telling family members and people that he. Uh, is near and dear to to uh, take advantage of these cheap crypto prices but yeah man he did really well the fact that he literally sold most of his litecoin at the top of the market um and uh if you want to watch the rest of the interview he makes great points why he feels like the prices will recover and come back and even though he says he's not buying this dip i think uh, he's telling people that he works with or people that he's close with to uh, take advantage of this because adoption is going up and Litecoin at $58 or $60 is a steal. Um, most of us, I don't know if you've invested, but my average buy for Litecoin is around 100. So I'm absolutely crushed, but I am going to continue to buy Litecoin, especially if I can get it for 50, 60 bucks. Um, not too much. Obviously, I don't want to put my entire portfolio, but I think these prices are good. And unfortunately, because I did buy Litecoin at such high prices before, I'm just going to hold and wait and uh, hopefully see it return because I do see a lot of use case for Litecoin and I do believe the values will return. But let me know your thoughts and I will talk to you soon.